Welcome back to another part of Silent Hill 3. If you do enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. Okay, we're about to go down the hellhole of doom. Yeah? Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her. The salvation of all mankind. Come! Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, Heather? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever! You deceive me! I didn't deceive you! We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. So you tried to trick me? So you could run off with my seal, huh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone! What is this seal thing anyway? Oh, don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. Leonard? Is that you? Death to all who turn their backs on God! <sighs> is every person here a mental case? Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. Goodness, bro. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Let's change to the machine gun, right? Or shotgun, I'm not too sure. We'll use the machine gun. Maybe playing this game on easy was not the right choice. That machine gun went brrr, like the government printing money. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? In the Illuminati. We've got a talisman.
There's nothing that I can use. Okay, so what floor are we on? We're on floor one, so we could just escape, right? Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... But surely it's a good thing. It means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent! You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father. Didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. Kicked you and made you cry. Oh, the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes, yes, and that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. I don't know how we actually saw that cutscene, to be honest. It, that, that just doesn't make sense. So, we're gonna go back and see if Douglas is fine. We also might want to change back to the machete. Instead of the machine gun. Like, how, how did Heather see that cutscene? If it makes any sense. Like... Yes, evil doggy. And okay, I think it's just to the right somewhere. Oh. I think it's two more turns. Um, whoa, we can't even reload. We heard it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put the machete back. We maybe should have used the shotgun against the previous boss. That machine gun went brrrr, dude. Like crazy. Here's the inn. It said 106, right? Where's Douglas? He went out. But, he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no. Just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? 
The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake, on the north side. If you're going, you'd better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far, but it's closer than heaven. <laughs> Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? Mm, not even a little bit. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. So, we just came from that direction. And now we have to run all the way back there. It's like, are you serious, bro? This doggy's gonna hurt us, isn't it? So, I guess we'll just run straight here into the next section of the game. And then we need to go to the church, wherever that might be. I'm sure the map will show us, though. And no, I do not want to cut. Never mind, the game may be crashed. I think. Okay, I had to replay quite a bit of the game. Well, I had to refight the boss. Uh, this time I only did it with the machete. Don't know why the camera is doing that. It says open. Should we enter? We can't. And now we're making our way to... ...where the game is telling us to go, which is just an arrow. Um... Pretty much just an arrow running straight on this road, so... Don't really want to run in the middle of the road, because you don't know... ...whether there's gonna be a car... Hopefully we're not pregnant. It's pretty much where the game started, right? is dead. What's the HP like? Uh. Oh, our head turned here. Oh, it's a first aid. And then... Beef jerky, maybe? Ah! <laughs> 
Puppe Doggy. Why are you still looking at it? I want to kick it again. What the? Isn't this like technically where we died though? We got hit by the roller coaster. I hope we won't die because like there's no save, man. Jump. It's literally game over. So I have to... Let's see, where, where do we continue? At the amusement park? Back at the start? This time we'll go this way. But there's nothing. It feels like everything in this game is literally leading to the here. Do I really need to do research and how to continue? It seems like this door needs to get unlocked. Miscusi. <laughs> and whatever we did was correct, but the the crash we heard was something we need to interact with, so You come here and you run away. No? There we go. So then you come back here and then something has fallen and there's a key here. Roller cursor key. Nice. And we can save. So we will. We will for sure save. And then, yeah, we'll just run back. To the coaster of the roller, literally. And then we'll just open it up and press a yes button. And then I guess the coaster is gone. 
That's as far as I did research, though. I was just like, how the heck do I get past this? Switch off. There's a power switch on the left hand. Turn it off, yeah. Get some health drinks. And I guess that's it. And now we'll run a roller coaster instead of ride it. You know. you to find the girl and you performed serviceably what is it now you lied to me about heather lady i don't like being used lie <laughs> what lie that heather was kidnapped from you but it's true she was originally one of us that man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah? Well, she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived. Because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when Alessa, mother of God, truly awakens... Yeah? What's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A <laughs> paradise. For castrated sheep, maybe. <sighs> Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. No panty moment? What the heck? Okay, we still don't have the map of this area though. There's a save point. Grab it. Definitely save every time we can. That's for sure. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Well, there's nothing else here to do, so... Help! Help! 
Is it Douglas? I hear those voices. A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to. Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. That's Danny, a quiet young man, but quite friendly as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. He grew up in New Orleans, but came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? I can I can't get past Danny. This mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. I am so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please, come back any time. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. <sighs> that was supposed to be the exit, but it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree with them. Don't be afraid. Dying is much... Is this... the room? I feel a heartbeat on my controller, man. Let's down these drinks, dude. here wouldn't that work Why can't I enter? Her head is looking towards it. Oh, it's an enemy she's looking at.
Shotgun shells and health drink. We have found a chain. Shoe. Let's see if we can do anything. Oh, what? Now it's open? The switch is off? What's the point of turning it on now? Forget it. bit confused though It's too small for me to wear. Not that I'd want to. One shoe, blood red. It was above the stage. Okay, I had to do a little bit of research. Uh, apparently... I don't know if you have to do this, but you have to try and put the chain here first. I attach a chain to the door handle. Uh, this half is fine. I better do something with the other half, though. Um... And we use the chain here. So the chain is now gonna open this door. Okay, I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Turn it on. I guess it worked. Douglas! You're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. I think it's broken. I'll call an ambulance. Wait. I don't think one will come. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You... You... You old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that. Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? <sighs> I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something is gonna happen. Who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is how a god of mercy acts, I don't want to see any more of him. It's not a That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? It's not 
What? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides... Yeah? I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You... <clears throat> you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid. Got himself shot robbing a bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, I guess now I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like him. <laughs> well... Maybe if you had compared me to your daughter... <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here, and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself? Hey, no problem. <sighs> Besides... My dad's not around anymore. So only I can do this. <sighs> what are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Yeah, you might be right. How did Heather know? What is it? I just came by to make sure you're still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. Don't die on me, okay? I guess we'll just head. There's a shoe... spot here. Snow White doll. The doorknob doesn't open. No handle. Okay, so we need something for the Snow White as well. Here's a mask. I heard footsteps. We have a save point here. So we'll grab a save for sure. Who knows what's up ahead. Uh, we'll go back here, see if the mask will open a door. Okay, it does work. Oh, the mask's in the hand, okay. So let's see now if the door opens. Oh, there we go. I'm not a big fan of us running on a trail 
or a railway. Seems to be something here. Uh, Dahlia? Uh, the one who said it. Said the girl was a demon. Uh, that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement, I thought that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal. Anyway, nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination? Or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. There's a date and a signature at the end, dated some 17 years earlier, and signed by Harry. Dad? Ah. What the heck, bro? I did a full 180. Oh, dinosaur. Bro. We definitely have to find something here. What the heck, bro? Seriously. And do I have to do research again? There, years ago. Because the place is so dark, man. You can't really see where you're going. Am I doing this right? My goodness. There's 
still one moving. Yeah, I see no more mo- Oh, there's one more. Any healing right now, I think. <sighs> Wait, what? Could be a boss fight. She wants a little bit of a weapon upgrade against it, right? Let's use the shotgun on her. I can't really see. I should just keep running. Ah, it's on my beats. I mean, sure, dude. Lost memory? There's something written on the floor here. It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon. When I think of the endless pain it will bring. When it is birth bir birthed. I decided that... Instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room. That I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange to me to call you that since you are me. But... You know what? You and I don't think alike, after all. And that's not that I don't remember the sick room either. Oh, yummy. That sounds juicy. As stained by the evils of the world, uh, we hold our sorrows within us. 
Only you can heal us these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day. The mirac miraculous descent. I give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. O Lord, save us with your compassion, O Lord. Shower us with your blessings, O Lord. Favor us with your abundance. Pretty weird stuff, isn't it? There's something written on the door. The door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. How did you get here? It was Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? But it's just as well. Luring you here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Not yet. The time is not yet at hand. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. Not you. A lesser, your true self. But I am a lesser. My little Claudia, my dear sweet sister. A lesser? Is it you? Oh, how I've missed you! I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire! But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation! Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn to deal with that, or you go under. Uh, you can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting people. Uh, besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! God is growing within you. You despise me, don't you? You're damn right I do! That's good.
I got this feeling that she is actually pregnant, bro. We have a save point here. What's this? I have the Night Tarot card. Okay, we will save here. Oh, there's a door. Can we play Moonlight Sonata? No. I assume this is a cutscene. Dear God, please forgive me. I know I'll be put to death for the sins I've committed. And I'll go to my death gladly and with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor, murdered daughter. Please. Also, care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. The oh God. I am a child. Trembling with fear as I stare at death. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please. Forgive me. How does Heather not fart and like... It's the only noise that's needed. Don't say anything, I guess. <laughs> I don't forgive her. Oh, there's an enemy here. It's locked. Okay, so we need some sort of key. So there's another cutscene. What do we have here? Is pistol ammo? Yeah. We have a tape. There is a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it is a handwritten copy of some book. Uh, represents the deity. Deity? I still know how to pronounce that. Known as the Halo of the Sun. Inherently symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are clarity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past and future. Usually drawn in red. Occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reserves the meaning into a curse on God and therefore forbidden. Sorry, fatty boom boom.
There's a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens, nothing special. I get the feeling that there's something behind this picture though. That girl cries and footsteps disappear beyond the, uh, beh behind it, or beyond it, after all. Will you move the picture of the angel? Another door. These books look like real minded benders. I think I'll leave them alone for now. Moon tired card. We have both cards now. everywhere, don't you? No, you make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that madwoman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. <sighs> so why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? <sighs> it's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. <sighs> God? You sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is, that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... convenient. <sighs> Much too... unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot and sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. Huh. Don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood and... and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you Step on them! Snuff out their lives! Are you talking about the monsters? Monsters? Ah, oh, they look like monsters to you? <gasps> oh no... Don't worry... It's just a joke! <laughs> By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it! You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. 
Here, take this. Nice. We have a book. Maybe we should read it. No, that's... Here we go. Examine the book. Uh, this magic square uh, with strong protective and dispelling properties. It is called Viren Seven Crest. Or the seal of um, uh, Met Metraton. It will bring results regardless of whether the the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, place a very high burden on the caster. As it is also difficult to control, it is not usually used. This is, this is why it bears the name Metraton, after the angel a Metatron, or Met Metraton, also known as the agent of God. The sheet of paper is blank. Sun heals ancient gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There is no religion that has uh, remained unchanged uh, from the moment it was founded. This, I this one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional uh, representatives uh, of these primal gods may be given the names and dis uh, descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There is also one rare example of chief de deity, creator of paradise, or lord of shep uh, what serpents and reeds. Uh, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not one of the, one by believers, but by their opponents. I assume that there is... Oh, there's something else here. Book of Tarot is here. Tarot was based in the 22nd Hebrew... Uh, consistence. Dude, I need to sneeze. And is said to represent the the entire world. Each card numbered zero through twenty one has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the High Priestess, uh, de uh, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or uh, dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, uh, the Grandner uh, deck is more, has more than 22 cards. Uh, the, gar the, the Gardener deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the uh, let, uh, literature, literature, uh, and is said that there uh, that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels, and de uh, denoted an otherworldly, a transcend uh, transcendental transcendental existence. For example, God.
go on the map of the zone. Oh, okay, we can use the left. Roblox. Uh, this is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover here is a picture of dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? Hmm, I remember a book. Something is written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening, or maybe what they called God. Nevertheless, I will open the door enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not. But I fully intend to save her. No, them. The last entry was written 17 years ago. And here's Dad's signature. What's this memo book doing here? It's locked. Bro? Doesn't need this many cards? Oh my goodness. The moon turret. Yeah, well, we don't have any placements or anything like that yet, so... Oh, we have a key here. Brass key. And we also have a save point, so we gotta, we gotta definitely call it here then. We really do hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help the channel a lot. Subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the next one. Love you, take care, and as always... Remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a great time.